Yo, what is going on guys? It is Ricky Tones I'm back here with another video. Today's video I got for you is postseason predictions for 2022. Yes, I got postseason predictions for 2022. This is excluding the wild card series. It's considering that they are done. They are done. I did not make a video in time for the wild card series. So we are going to be doing the NLDS, ALDS, NLCS, ALCS, and eventually the World Series. So let's get into it. And before this video starts, please make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Please subscribe if you are a baseball fan. Please subscribe if you hit dangers. If you hit dangers or throw gas. Subscribe, please subscribe. Now let's get into the first NLDS games. Okay, first we got we got the NLDS between the Philadelphia Phillies and Atlanta Braves, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, Philadelphia Phillies shocked most and swept the Cardinals in the wild card series. And quite frankly, I think they are red hot. They're a red hot baseball club. As a Philadelphia Phillies fan, I'm not going to be biased. I mean, Aaron Nola and Zach Wheeler dealed against the Cardinals, a very good offensive Cardinal team. They have two MVP candidates on their team, as well as two legends and one freaking amazing pitcher of Wainwright. So I mean, Goldschmidt, Arenado, Pulhos, Yachty, Wainwright, all those guys, and arguably this top second baseman in the league, hitting-wise, Tommy Edmond. I mean, they got piece after piece after piece, but yet, they were swept by the Philadelphia Phillies, who came in as barely making the playoffs, honestly. Barely making the playoffs by two games. Two games. Barely made the playoffs, but got, they swept them. Very, very good pitching performances by Zach Wheeler and Aaron Nola. Very, very good. As well as defensively. Defensively, we played the best of our ability. We kept runners off the bases, which is exactly what we needed to do. And is exactly why we won the series and are on to the NLDS their first time in the NLDS since I don't know 11 years 11 freaking years so going up the Atlanta Braves the Atlanta Braves have beaten us 11 times out of 19 meets this year they win the series for the year and have eventually I think it was hit 20 something home runs against us in the span of those 19 games so that's averaging one a game so the long ball hasn't been a factor i'm not sure if wheeler or nola pitched in any of those games i'm sure they probably have i would have to go back to those games and see but i i think this is where my magical the magical run of the phillies ends sadly it has been a very very productive year and a very good progressive sign for the phillies Getting rid of their manager, Girardi, adding in Rob Thompson, getting back Harper, playing without Harper very well, as with other pieces like Stott, Boehm stepping up on the team when Harper was down. Pitching staff, great in the postseason as of right now. I mean, what more can you really ask for in a club that is maybe destined to win a World Series? Maybe in the future? Maybe? I'm not going to go that far, but I think we are destined, if we lose this, to be able to make the postseason again next year so this is where i think it will end i mean you have the rookie of the year candidate spencer strider for the atlanta braves you have their you have ronald king jr you have matt olsen you have every piece the atlanta braves can need to win another world series and dare i say could they be forming a dynasty here if they win back to back i mean they've won five back to back to back to back to back NL East Division Champions Championships, so I mean, I don't see why the Braves don't make it back to the NLCS this year, but it being a best of five, this might be closer than people think, but eventually, I think the Braves might win it in, I'm gonna say, probably five game series. I think it's gonna go to a five game series and the Braves edge the Phillies three to two, with the Phillies eventually running out of starting pitching. I think Wheeler and Nola those days they're pitching, I think they're gonna win, but I think the pitching depth of the Braves is much deeper than ours, as well as the bullpen as well. And I think the magic just runs out for the Phillies, but can't hold our heads too much because that was an unbelievable season. No one expected us to even make the NLDS, let alone the playoffs. So, yeah, let's get into our next NLDS matchup. Next NLDS matchup, we got the San Diego Padres versus 
the Los Angeles Dodgers, the powerhouse Dodgers. I'm just gonna say it right now. I think the Dodgers win this in four games, maybe even five. I just think they're gonna win. Like, the Padres played very well against the Mets. Very, very well. If there was a team to beat the Dodgers, I think it might be the Padres, considering that Trent Grissom batted 500 against the Mets. 500 when he hit 184 the whole entire season. I mean, the guy was unbelievable. Manny Machado played very well. Juan Soto played decent. Joe Musgrove in that last game was clutch. He shoved against the Mets, allowing only one hit. Yu Darvish did what he had to do to get the win. Um, Blake Snell, just unfortunate. But <laughs> the depth of the Dodgers, man. The depth of the Dodgers, the pitching, the hitting, bullpen, everything. Everything. Everything shows to me that the Dodgers, I think they have 111 wins the regular season. Only losing like 48, 49 games, I believe. It ties their most wins in franchise history in the regular season. Now, can the Dodgers make it to the World Series? I believe they do. I believe they have every piece in order to make the World Series. So yes, I believe this will be four game, if not a five game series going to the Los Angeles Dodgers. And moving on to the ALDS, we got the first series is between the Yankees and the Guardians. Now, the Guardians swept the Rays and Bieber, first game, shoved. Tristan McKenzie, shoved. Did what they needed to do. The Rays just didn't hit. Or, I mean, the second game, they did pitch very well. They went into extras in the bottom of the 15th inning. Eventually, the Guardians did not walk off homer. But, I just don't see anyone beating the Yankees or even coming close. I think this is going to be, I think they're going to sweep them, to be honest. The Yankees just have an all-around great lineup. But, honestly, wouldn't be surprised if it went to four or five games because the Yankees don't have that much pitching depth compared to the other teams who have won 100 games for the Dodgers or, let's say, the Astros or the Braves. I don't think they have the pitching depth. I mean, they have Nasty Nestor. Come on. They have Garrett Cole. But other than that, do they have anybody really else really liable to make a run for the World Series? I don't know, but I do think the Yankees will win this in three or four games. And it has been a great season for the Guardians. You can't be disappointed. Nothing to really say about the Guardians. The Bieber, I think this is, he's going to have a tough time facing this Yankees lineup, especially with Aaron Judge in it, John Carlos Stan, everybody else. And Tristan McKenzie. I don't really think that he has that much, I'm not really sure what to say about him. I mean, he's a hit or miss, very, very hit or miss Tristan McKenzie is. And I believe he has met his match with the Yankees lineup. And I think the Yankees will either sweep or win three out of four. Next, in a surprising, surprising manner in my opinion, the Mariners beat the Blue Jays, sweeping them when the Blue Jays had an eight to one lead. No, Blue Jays fans, no. You guys were that close, this close, getting it to a, a game three for the wild card series. But what a playoff series, guys. I mean, nothing can beat October baseball. This is amazing, incredible. The Marlins, or I'm not the Marlins, excuse me, the Mariners, <laughs> haven't been to the postseason in 20 plus years, and they are showing out. They are showing out that they are hungry for a championship that they have never won also. But, they're going up a very good, very, very good Houston Astros team. Very, very good Houston Astros team. Justin Verlander, Lance McCullers, I mean everybody else, the bullpen, Jose Altuve, Jordan, crazy, crazy team. 100 plus wins also. I also see them moving on to the ALCS facing the Yankees, and I do think that the magical run for the Mariners has ended, which I think the Astros will win in four games. I think they will win four games. I think the Mariners tack on a game, but the Astros, come on, guys, they're just dominant, so I think the Astros will just move on to the ALCS to face the Yankees.